Gary, it's been a tough start to the season. We, we knew it would be in those two games, but is your concern more with the performances rather than the points return at the moment? Um, you want to get the performances right first, yeah. uh, which gives you a chance, and I've always said that. Uh, but we've come up against two really strong sides, so we have to be my, mindful of that fact as well. And we're going into a game Saturday against a team that have had a, a good start to the season also. So um, we have to make sure that we... Uh, we go out there and are strong and deal with uh, how they play. Uh, they caused us problems last year up there as well, so uh, you know they started the campaign well. They're one of only, I think, three or four teams that have won their opening two games. As you say, we saw how tough they were, how strong they were in April, albeit there's been some managerial changes since yeah. then, but yeah. that's, that's a, a stark reminder of the task ahead of you on Saturday. Yeah, and obviously um, Tim has taken uh, control, um, but you know the momentum is still with them. You know they've they've carried that into the new uh, well the start of the season. So, but we're a, a new group feeling our way, um, and it's been a tough start. But <laughs> we knew that even before a ball was kicked. Uh, you know it's a tough start. So uh, we're uh, we have to make sure that we perform uh, better than what we have done. But you know it's early early days yeah. And that putting the bodies on the line, that backs to the wall performance that we saw in the last quarter against against Barnet. That's the blueprint for next for Saturday, that, that solid defensive base that you can then build on. We, we need that. We need that for, for Saturday. But also um, once we regain possession we have to we have to use the ball better than what we have done in, in the last two games. You know we've we've conceded possession very, very quickly after trying to uh, we'll do our best to, to regain it if you like. We have to make sure that we secure uh, the first pass and we're, we're more in control uh, of the game in terms of the possession side of things. So, uh, but we'll work on that. Scott Rendell was very honest in his assessment, in his assessment on Tuesday evening. He, he suggested that, that maybe the players needed to take on board your instructions a little bit better. Do you, do you feel that's the case? Is that honesty pleasing, even in adversity? Yeah, Renz is always honest, um, and obviously he's speaking for the group. Um, you know, presentations and the work that we do during the course of the week is geared for, for match day. And, you know, if the players are not taking that information on board, you know, we can't do anything about that. We can only present it to them. They have to take responsibility. Um, and if they're not taking that information on board, uh, they're not only letting themselves down, they're letting, you know, a lot of people down. So, uh, including me. Um, so they uh, they have to make sure that they put that into practice. It's a difficult one because you're gauging that against two of the the strongest teams in the division, also. So they'll also have a game plan to counteract what we're trying to do. So, uh, but we have to build on what uh, we've put in place over the last two years and the way we play. We, we haven't seen that yet, you know, and. You know, is it a concern? Yeah, because we want to do better, of course we do. Uh, but we have to be realistic with the competition that we've been up against in the, in the last two games. And um, yeah, that's been very difficult. You mentioned played one striker up front on, on Saturday against Barnet, two on Tuesday at Chesterfield. But where you're playing with your two wide men so advanced, it's almost a three striker. And you've got Shamir Fenlon and Jacob who are so attack minded. Yeah. It, you're almost whether it's one or two, it's it's effectively almost three or four in in most occasions. Yeah, you know, you can argue the fact that you know in the last two years we we've only played with one out and out striker. But the way we play, we we get people forward anyway. So you, you can argue that you play with and rightly <laughs> what you just said, two, three or four strikers. Um, that we we want to. We want to dominate possession of the ball, so we look to play people in, in different areas of the pitch and the formation's different, but uh, it's got us into the playoffs two years on the trot. So, um, you know, we have to be careful of what, uh, what, we, uh, what we do and what we wish for. Um, but we've got strikers here, we've got wide players here who, who can cause problems to the opposition, you know, and um, we just have to get the balance right. At the other end of the pitch, Jay Cole has started the season well, but depth, competition are vital throughout the squad. Mm -hmm. You've brought in uh, Will Mannion from Hull City this morning. He's 
a young goalkeeper with an excellent pedigree. Yeah, he is. Yeah, um, look, we've been looking to to bring in another goalkeeper for quite some time. He's a good young goalkeeper. We had a very good young goalkeeper last year who's done extremely well for us, and um, he's now gone into a, a league club uh, on, on a loan basis. So, uh, you know, we always come down to get experience, to play games. Um, I'm looking forward to working with him. And that, that reputation that, that you forged here with the likes of Kundai, with Lewis Ward, clubs are aware of the, the education and the benefits that they will get when they come here. Well, for young players, it's about you know development, um, and you know they can develop. You know they can develop in an under twenty three environment, uh, but then at some point they have to then go into a more senior environment where it is, you know, where it's competitive, where it's you know you're competing for for points also. Um, so it's part of the young player's development and I think up until this point it's worked very, very well for, for all parties. So uh, let's hope that works for Will also. In the more immediate term, back to Saturday, how's, how's the fitness of the squad looking? Will will clearly bolster numbers. Are you hoping that maybe a couple of others who haven't been able to start the season yet are getting closer? Yeah, they're getting closer. Um, you know, Marvin's come back into the group, um, but he's, he's still a long way off because he's not had the pre-season. But, um, and he's not had the game time also. You know, uh, Nick Arnold, you know, we have to wait on Nick also. Uh, at the moment, he's probably the only one. Uh, Luke Howell's coming back into the group this morning. So, yeah, uh, competition is good. So, uh, will we have a selection headache on Saturday? Yeah, probably, you know, two or three may miss out. But, um, you know, we need to uh, get that balance right. Excellent. Thank you, Gary. We'll see you at Solihull. Thank you.